So I'm gonna try a little bit different style with this video. It's gonna be a narrative style instead of us out on the boat doing things. Um, I've decided that I'm gonna add some tips and tricks to my website as different topics come up, um, share some of the knowledge that I have with them. So the first topic that we're going to do is, is talk about planer boards and planer boards basics. So if you go to my website, we'll just show you where this is. You can find it over in the fishing tips and tricks section and click on planer board basics. As I add more topics, this section will grow. Uh, so first of all, I want to talk about what are planer boards, why should I use planer boards, and how do I use planer boards. So first of all, planer boards are an effective way to fish additional lines when trolling. As you use planer boards, they push your line to the side of the boat. This allows you to have more lines out and to cover a wider area as you troll through. Also having planer boards helps you prevent tangles because those lines are spread out. So... Why should you use planer boards? Planer boards are going to work best when the fish are in the top of the water column. This typically happens in the early spring or late fall when the water temperature is cooler. A lot of times when the water is cooler, you'll look on your fish finder for fish and you won't find them. And it will be spots that during the heat of the summer you go through and you mark fish all over the place. I found this to happen frequently. And my belief is that because the fish are higher up in the water column, as you go over them with your boat, they are scattering. So you're actually not seeing them on your fish finder. Um, but shortly after they scatter, they will come back behind and chase your lure and, and you still have a chance of catching them. Because the fish scatter, that's why when you're trolling, when the fish are shallower, you'll want to put out at least 100 feet of line when you're fishing that top 15 feet of water. That way there's plenty of time for the fish to scatter and come back. Planer boards are also very effective for fishing in that shallow water. As the fish scatter as your boat goes over, you're going to push them right to where those planer boards are on the side of your boat. Also, if the fish are staged in those areas on the side, you're not going to scare them with the planer boards. So early in the spring late in the fall when the water is cool that's when i use planer boards and i found that they are very very effective so how do you use planer boards first you're going to want to pick a lure that will position itself to the depth you want to target if i'm using traditional kokanee setup with a dodger and lure i will generally pick a heavier dodger that will naturally put the line down to that five to ten foot depth that i'm targeting in the early spring and late fall for other species, you can use Rapala type lures, spoons, you name it, whatever whatever you want to put out there. Just make sure that it's going to be hanging out in that depth that you want to fish. It is possible to use planer boards when the fish are deeper. You just need to figure out a way to get your lure down to the depth that the fish are. A very effective way that I found to do this is using clip weights. I've got a whole video that shows how to use clip weights if you don't have downriggers or if you just want to target the fish a little bit deeper. That method can work year round if you want to use planer boards when fish are deeper. I've used the clip weight method to target fish down to the 30, 40 foot depth. Deeper than that, it's probably better to just stick with your downrigger. So after you figured out what lure you're going to use and figured out how to get it down to the depth you're going to want to target, the next step is to pick the planer board that you're going to use. Planers are labeled left and right. If you're facing towards the front of your boat and you want to go out to the right side, you will pick the right planer. If you want to go out to the left side, you will pick the left planer. So once you have your planer board, you're gonna let out about 50 feet of line. As you can see in this video clip here, you're going to clip the planer board on, the front clip and the back clip there's multiple styles of planer boards. This planer board I'm using here is made by Offshore. It's a very simple style and it works very well. So after you have your line clipped into the planer board, you're going to drop it down into the water. You're gonna continue letting line out. As you stop and pause, the planer board will naturally pull itself to the side of your boat. So you can adjust how much line you have out to figure out how far away from the boat that you want. After your planer boards are out and set up, you will troll like you normally would. What you wanna do is watch your planer boards. If all of a sudden you see them making an unnatural movement, 
uh, either darting backwards or swinging towards the boat, that means you're getting a bite and you have a fish on. If you have a fish on, just reel in like you normally would. And as the planer board gets close to the boat, you'll want to either have someone else or carefully yourself unclip it and finish reeling the fish in. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you check out our website, kokanieaddictfishing.com. We'll be putting up other guides. We also have a How to Catch Kokanee 101 guide that gives a good overview of the basics of catching kokanee. Um, I also have links to the products that I use and recommend on our website. Make sure to subscribe. We'll plan on putting out more content like this in the future. Also, kokanee season is right around the corner, and we plan to make some videos of some great trips this year. Thanks for all the support. Happy fishing and tight lines.